Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel Tech and Tips with King. In this video, I'm going to show how you can install and run Unity software in your Android using Executive Windows Emulator application. So without any wasting of time, let's get into the video. In this video, I'm going to show how you can install and run Unity software in your Android using Executive Windows Emulator application. Basically, Unity software is for game making, animation and many other things. Uh, a lot of people use unity software to make games so this is very popular software and in this video i'm going to show how you can install and run that software in your android with using Exeger emulator application Exeger emulator is an emulator for android that we can run any pc software in android with using this application in my previous video i've already shown that how you can install and run Exeger windows emulator application in android i have made a separate tutorial video you can check out my previous video first of all you have to download the unity software and you have to open the Exeger Windows Emulator application. You have to click on the three lines. You have to click on the Manage Containers. You have to click on the three lines and you have to click on the Run Explorer. So it will going to landscape the phone and it will saying starting up. It means the, the application is starting up in Android. So and as you can see in the screen, this is the desktop of the Exeger Windows Emulator application and it will be in the landscape mode. So let me just turn the Android phone, set up the camera and come back again. I think I forgot to tell you uh, before after downloading the unity setup file you have to uh, put that uh, setup file in the download folder because the exeger windows emulator application will going to access the download folder as a data drive as you can see this is the file explorer of the exeger windows emulator application and this is the d drive and this is the all the download uh, files of my download folder of my android for internal storage so in my previous every video i have said this so as you can see this is the unity setup file i have put it in the download folder so i can access it in the executive windows emulator application and as you can see this is the unity setup file now i am going to long press on it first of all i am going to just hide the status bar so this is the uh, status bar of the executive windows emulator application so with this you can uh, full the screen of the executive so this is the enable keyboard and with the three fingers you can hide the uh, status bar of the Exeger Windows Emulator application to get the better view and better understanding. So as you can see, this is the Unity software. I am going to long press on it and just click to open. And make sure uh, internet uh, is enabled in your Android phone for the backup. If uh, internet require at any moment, uh, it will going to access the internet and use it to download any files, requirement files. So as you can see, it will saying please wait while setup is loading and verifying installer. The installation process of this started so this is the unity software game making software and it will be uh, started the installation process and this is the 4.0 version setup file so let me just click to next and it will saying to accept the license agreement so let me just click to i agree so it will telling all the things going to components so this is the all the components uh, of the unit software and it will require space 2.3 GB space it required so make sure you have uh, 2.3 GB left in your Android internal storage so let me just click to next because uh, Exagir will going to install any software in the Android internal storage so it will going to take a lot of space so unity is very heavy software in this software a lot of people make games and many other things so you can also create games and graphics any other thing so it will require 2.3 GB and it will going to be a long time to install so let me just click to install and as you can see uh, the unity 4.0 software installing here it will going to take long time so i am going to fast forward this video and come back after uh, it's fully installed so it will going to take very long time to install so as you can see in this coin finally the unity software has been successfully installed i just cut the uh, part of the installation because it's taken very long time very very long time it's taken about uh, half an hour in my android phone so that's why i've uh, cut the part and here is the uh, fully installed unity software so just now if it's installed and it will saying uh, unity has been installed in the computer click finish to close so let me just click to finish and i'm going to minimize the file explorer and as you can see unity software is be, uh, installed and it's opening here Make sure the internet is enabled in your Android, maybe mobile data or Wi-Fi because Unity, uh, we don't know at my, what movement this software required internet. So as you can see, the software is opening up here.
so as you can see in this screen the software has been successfully opened here and asking to log in to your unity account so i don't have account so in this video i've only shown how you can install unity software and how you can open it so we have successfully installed and the software is opened up here so if you want me to show a login and fully working software let me know in the comments i try to make another video on how you can log in and how you can create any project in unity software so this is the full installation video and how you can open this so as you can see it will asking me to log in i don't have account if you want me to make another video let me know in the comments i try to uh, create account login in this and try to show how you can use the software so as you can see this is the unity software successfully installed in android using xagir windows emulator application so that's it for this video thanks for watching please subscribe to my channel like this video share this video if any question or problem let me know in the comments thank you